AT&T has released new unlimited data plans and you can mix and match them. Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center and on Friday afternoon, AT&T released their newest version of their unlimited data plans and this time they are matching the industry by introducing mix and match plans. They are calling these new plans AT&T Your Way. And they're basically the same exact unlimited plans that they've been offering for the last year. Unlimited Elite, Unlimited Extra, and Unlimited Starter. And the differences between those plans, they start at $30 a month as the lowest end if you have five lines of service, all the way up to $85 per month for a single line of service on the Elite plan. The Starter plan includes no mobile hotspot use, is always deprioritized, and video is capped at 480p. The highest end one, the Consumer Elite, includes 30 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use per line, as well as priority data of 100 gigabytes per line. That means that you're not subject to network management until you reach that cap, and video is at HD resolution. So there's a whole span of plans, and previously you picked one plan and all of the lines on your account were at the same level. Now you can mix and match. So pricing and terms are the same on the smartphone lines. The biggest change with this, and it's an unfortunate one for our audience, is that when you add on a tablet to these lines for $20 per month, it used to inherit the terms of the plan that you had. So if you added a line to their elite line, it also got 30 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use, 100 gigabytes of priority data, and 720p video. Well, that is gone now. When you add on a tablet plan for $20 per month, it always will inherit the terms of the starter line. So you get no mobile hotspot use, you get 480p video, and you are always subject to network management from the get-go. And that will apply to all tablet lines added to the new Unlimited Your Way plans. Now, if you have the older version of these plans, you can still add on tablets and it will still inherit the terms of what your primary line of service is. So do keep that in mind if you are switching to the new lines of service. If you want to do mix and match, you will lose the ability to add on tablets with those awesome deals that would inherit your line of service. You will always have the starter terms of service. Now, another unfortunate change in this is they are now capping the number of devices that you can have on one account to 10, which means you cannot go and add on additional like watches and things like that beyond your 10 limit. They used to have allowances for that, and that's how that standalone $20 per month tablet plan that we reported on just recently, last week, in fact, in our top data plan picks video, is that was an add-on plan for, that was intended to be an add-on plan when you already had exceeded your 10 cap to still add on additional devices. They're no longer allowing that, and we're still waiting for confirmation out in the field as to if you can even still access that standalone $20 per month uh, iPad plan or tablet plan. So please do report in the comments if you're still able to get it or not get it, what your experience might be. We are presuming that it is no longer available, which is removing a great tablet plan because using a tablet in a mobile internet arsenal, there's a lot you can do legitimately on a tablet from video streaming, video conferencing, and doing a lot of general uh, web surfing and email. It can be done on the tablet, so that's a great way to offload a lot of your data usage. Now, another change uh, is AT&T has also retired their former mobile share data plans that used to be offered in a 3 and a 9 gigabyte level. That's where all of your devices shared the same pool of data. Not really of great interest to our audience that are seeking a lot of mobile hotspot data, but it was an option that was there. It is now replaced with a mobile share plan, except for this time each line of service gets 4 gigabytes of data, and then overage charges are charged. So. It is very interesting to see AT&T move several of their plans in the last month to now having overage charges again, which was something that was removed several years ago on most plans in the industry. So a very interesting industry shift to seeing those overcharges come back. So that is the latest on AT&T plans. Just like Verizon, when they came out with new plans about a month ago, they kept the same name to introduce their new plans versus their old plans. So there will be market confusion going forward, both with AT&T and Verizon, on which generation of the same main plans you are on as to which terms and services apply. Yay, fun! These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. 
They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.